Hello and welcome back to Modern Skyblock 3. So, I have uh, been working on components and such in the interim here. Let's uh, go ahead and get some of this stuff going. So we need these superconductors here. Specifically, I need 25 of them. Hey, hey, I got enough. Excellent. Alright, so fusion. We were working on these fusion coils. Let's see if we've got enough stuff. What am I missing here? The iridium neutron reflectors. Oh, I didn't quite get enough done because I was thinking they were the thick neutron reflectors. I only have three. Well, darn. All right, let's see. What's the recipe on you? Oh, you require more beryllium and you require more of that. Oh, okay. Looks like we're going to be making a few more materials because I was slightly off in my preparations. Um, let's see, we needed more tin. Let's get some more tin on the go. That was weird with the Enderman there. All right. Uh, let's throw you in there. Let's throw you in there. Now I'm curious, is this using up? It is not using up the grinding ball. Okay, that's good. Um, did I have, I got crushed coal in there. I got more crushed coal in here? No. How about up here? Yes. Alright. Let's toss some of this in here so that hopefully we don't run out of that on the way. Oh boy. Alright, you know what? While we're doing that, let's check on this. Oh, we got quite a bit more erodium. We are really filling that container up, though. Gonna have to do something with those ores eventually. I could process them and stick them in the system, but I also, at the same time, don't particularly need the majority of them because of the chickens. So, you know, interesting little thing there about that. So, let's see. I believe we can make the ore miner. Ore miner. Alright, so I've got a tier 1 uh, ore miner controller in here that I made in addition to the one that's being used. This way we can get this made without having to resort to picking up the existing one. So we've got that. Alright, bam. Uh, let's see. At environmental tech. Alright, so we've got 40 of these guys. So that would be enough for 20 of the structure frames that we need. Not enough. Because uh, I've got these what I need here, basically. I need three laser cores, two, four node modifiers, 16 structure panels, 32 structure frames. Though these need to be tier two. And I don't need the interconnects. That's just extra. Uh, but these, basically, we need to have enough erodium to make these into tier twos. Which, oops, of course, requires... That was not what I wanted. I wanted the recipe. Use. There we go. Requires two erodium each. So we unfortunately do not currently have enough. Let's put that away. We'll go ahead and put the assembler away. We'll put the ore miner controller away. But we're almost there. Hey, quest updated. Chironite. Excellent. Um, all right, it's about to get loud. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, it did. Yeah. You're making the noise. All right. Let's put you away. Alright, so we need more beryllium, too, huh? That's going to be annoying. I believe that was from... Yeah, that was from here. That was the emerald dust. Oh, man. Alright, so we're gonna need more emeralds. More emerald dust. That means we're gonna need to grind up more of these guys. Just like we were doing with the tin, which we now have. Grind those up. Grind those up. Give me the tin. I got some extra diamond dust there. Uh, can you grind the emeralds? You appear to be able to. Are you giving me the same thing? Yes. Okay. All right. Pressing onward. Let's get these fusion things made. Fusion coils. Alright, so we need these guys. 
as many of those as you can give me. I am out of plates. All right, well, great. Let's get as many of these as you can give me, which is five because I'm out of beryllium. Great. All right, so we're going to need some more copper plates, which we can go... Give me two stacks of that. That is copper, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, one can come all the way down here into our little plate fabricators. This is the one that makes plates good. And the second one can come over here and be made into plates that way. All right. So we got two things going for plates. We got some more emerald dust. I really should put them all through the sag mill because it does give me the occasional additional dust. In fact, we're going to pull that out. Toss you in there. Of course, I'm going to need some, uh... You. Because we ran out of flint in here. Come on. There we go. Alright. Do that. Pop over here. And go. Oh, we also need more empty cells. Great. Let's grab you. Get you going. Need more empty cells. Because we use a ton of those. Alright, so we can get to it from here just by doing that. Oh, I did also discover that you can just run the iridium uh, alloy like compound through the, uh, the the plate machine over there, the, the uh, immersive engineering one. So I didn't actually need to build that up. Typical, you know. All right. Uh, you, compressed air, what are you used for? I mean, I guess you're used for a couple of things. Alright, let's go ahead and throw those in the system. That was not what I wanted. <sighs> Always something, you know? Always something. Alright, we're slowly getting more beryllium. And we need a ton of this stuff. It's a good thing I've got the emeralds going. What was the other recipe on that? Yeah, ender pearls, so it would have required... I mean, a stack of ender pearls. Actually, wait a minute. Um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it would have required a stack of ender pearls for one the other way. So that's definitely not good. We're at least uh, using less than a stack. Well, I guess we're using more emeralds. You empty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Then again, I mean, emeralds are at least as easy to get a hold of as the ender pearls at this point. Get that going a bit more. I was hoping to get further into all the nuclear stuff today, but apparently that is not to be. Let's go ahead and get another stack of emeralds going. And this is going to show exactly what we're doing here. So let's throw a stack in. There was none in the box, because I just used them all. All right. Let's toss you there. Where are we? We're doing this. Bam. Okay. We got a couple more. We should have some more plates. Throw that in there. You guys. Bam. How many of you? Four. Because we're firing out of ten. <sighs> ten. This is expensive. 
I mean, if this wasn't a, like, sky block where I'm generating my own resources, this would be a pain. Alright, let's throw you guys in here and see if I can just be like, hey, can you do that? Yes, yes you can. Excellent. Alright. So that'll process those. You are done. And see, we got 13 extra emerald dust out of that, so I should really be doing all the emeralds in there. Seeing as how much of this stuff we're using. You're full up on those. Okay. I'm like, why are you not processing? Alright, you should have plenty of room for that. There we go. Alright, because I don't know how much of that stuff I'm going to need, so I should just be processing more. Not like I have a lack of emeralds at the moment. I mean, I don't have super tons, but which is why I should be getting the most out of them. But at the same time, it's also not like it's a super lack. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. Let's grab that pulverized tin. See if we can't make a little bit more headway on this. Bam. All right, we're out of crushed coal now. Let's see what we can do in this situation. Let's also put those away. One. We got one. Well, I have enough for one more. That's good. All right. What are those things? Neutron reflector. Neutron reflectors. I have four. I need two. 25 of them. <sighs> I thought I had enough, because I had made 25 of the, like, next tier down that you unfortunately need 8 of to make those, and thought I was done. So, we got some more of that. We'll throw you in there. You are going to need additional pylons. And by that I mean emerald dust. You... Let's see, let's put 20 for the uh, stacks, 64 in there. Because I think that that will give me additional as well. Let's allow you to run. Yeah. It is a little more than half a stack in order to do this, but we're getting more than a stack of the dust out of a stack of emeralds. So... And then three times the beryllium. So this is more efficient than the uh, ender pearls would be. Even if it is, you know, slightly more limited. Let's grab another stack of you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw more beryllium in here. Because we need 8 times 25. So we need 200. Is that right? We need 200 beryllium total. Oh, man. All right. Let's throw the emeralds in here. Okay, yeah, we got more than a stack's worth out of that, so we definitely want to be processing all our coal that way. Fusion. Yeah, look at this. We got that. That's ridiculous. That is just ridiculous. Alright, so you know what? I think, while I'm working on this... Bam. Let's see how much, how many more of these we can get. Four more, which is not enough to even make one more. Alright, so I'm going to keep working on this. I think we're also going to start looking into our other nuclear options. <laughs> the nuclear options. Alright, um... Large multi-blocks. So we've got this set of stuff, this set of stuff, these guys. Oh! Okay, if I were actually having uh, energy problems, I'd probably use some of that. But we need to do the extreme reactor stuff. Um, not that big of a deal. Uh, and the manufacturing. Hmm. Alright, let's get the manufacturing going. Manufacturing. Manufacturing. You look relatively simple. Make a piston. Uh, I should have all of the rest of that stuff. Bam. Manufacturing. Done. 
All right. Even more alloys. Alloy furnace. Alloy furnace. Boop. Not quite there. All right. Just because we need a furnace. No big deal. I need a brick. All right. Um. Okay. I should have some clay sitting around, right? Like in this guy? Yeah, I got some clay. All right. Do that. Let's just cook you up. We'll go ahead and let it all cook up. There we go. And up. Boop, boop. Alloy furnace. Done. Now, is that just a quest updated? That's an updated. That means we need... Oh, boy. These guys, huh? Tough alloy. Or hard carbon alloy. Magnesium diboride. Ferroboron. All right. So, we need the nuclear craft alloys. Where are we going to set some of this stuff up? Well, let's go ahead and just set it up down here. Because why not? Let's just give it a space. Pop out a couple of those. Pop down a few of these. Alright, so we need the alloy furnace. We've got the manufactory, which I believe just does the thing. Alright, so we need... At Nuke Alloy. Alright, so... Tough Alloy is... Ferro, boron, and lithium. Really? How do I get these guys? Really? Come on. Somebody give me the proper way to get these. Alright. Boron and steel. Alright, how do I do boron? There's a boron ore. Alright, let's go see if we've got any boron ore. We've got all kinds of stuff. Hey, boron. All right. Got a whole stack. Uh, what can we do with this? Let's... We want some sort of crushing mechanism, I believe. Will the sagmill do it? Sagmill is usually my first option. Hey, all right. Looks like it does. And you're giving me something else in that, too. Lithium. Okay. So, we're going to let that process real quick. Um, what else do we got? Let's get these tin. Oh, come on. And let's get... Going up here. Do, do, do. We're going to keep doing this in the background. Or, you know, foreground, whatever. As I go. Just to get little bits more done. Is this ready yet? Not quite. All right. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be a continuing thing. I thought I was going to finish that this episode. All right. You are doing that. Is that really all the lithium dust? No, there's actually a little bit more. All right. So what was that? That nuke alloy. Right, right, right. All right. Tough alloy. Come on, where's the actual machine for it? Alloy furnace. So ferroboron and lithium. So we need the ferroboron first, which comes from one of these guys here. All right, steel and boron dust. Right. Let's also grab these. Steel and boron. Well, we got some steel over here. So let's go ahead and make up a bunch of this. Bam. We will pop you in there. Let you go. Boron. Steel. Do your thing. Do you get upgrades? I wonder. Don't know. But... You are not doing your thing, probably because you're out of those. Do you have any in you now? Of course not. 
Of course not. All right. You are Pharaoh Boron Alloy. I think that was one of them, right? Yeah, Pharaoh Boron. All right, Tough Alloy. Was Lithium and that. Hey, I got some Lithium. Let's go ahead and just get the quest knocked out of the way. Boop. So we got you and you. That will get that done. We're going to need hard carbon and magnesium diboride. Uh, hard carbon. Graphite and diamond, huh? Graphite. How do I graphite? Graphite, graphite, graphite. Okay, graphite is just cooking coal. Okay, right, right. We'll let you process a little bit more. <laughs> so I need some coal. I've got plenty of coal around. Boop. Let's just pop you in here for the moment. Oh, hey, you had some iridium I was cooking up. I had found some iridium alloy in my thing, so I decided to go ahead and cook some of that up. All right, how are we doing here? Graphite. What was the other thing I needed? Oh, it's doing that again. All right. Uh, at nuke alloy. All right. Hard carbon. And does it have to be crushed? No, it can be a normal diamond. All right. That'll do. Now, down we go. We're done with that for the moment. You too. Do your thing. All right, and this magnesium diboride. So we need magnesium and boron. Okay, that's not hard. I just need some magnesium. Where did I put the magnesium? I don't think it's over here. Is there some in the system? I sure hope so. Magnesium. All right, I got some magnesium dust sitting around. I got some Saturn magnesium, some space magnesium, some compressed magnesium. Is there a magnesium that is not that? Block of magnesium. That's the extra planets one. Ah, there's a regular magnesium ore. All right. So hopefully I have some of that in the thing, but we'll use this powdered stuff for the moment. Um, all right, you did not use those in the same... Boron? I think, well, it's doing something. Magnesium diboride, that would make sense, right? And... Hey, all right. Let's just do that. We'll toss you and you in. Let you keep going. Even more alloys. Excellent. All right, what's next? Let's get nuclear. Machine chassis, one. All right. All right, let's go at nuke machine chassis. You look easy enough to me. Bam, there's one machine chassis. Done. We're just kind of nailing through this. All right, let's get nuclear. Um, infusing with fluids. All right, so where am I trying to go? I'm trying to get to this. So I need plutonium and uranium RPG. Separating isotopes. Separating isotopes. Plutonium requires using fuel rods. Fission reactor. Fission reactor. Burning with radiation, smashing stones, and cool. It's cool. Burning with radiation. Burn, burning with radiation, alright. Smashing stones. Smash, smashing stones. Alright, hey, I've already got a rock crusher, apparently. Crushed those guys. Zirconium, beryllium. Beryllium? Really? Alright. 
Let's see. What are you guys? Red Garnet, Haggit, Garnet. Uh, all right, what were these guys? Ro Zirconium, Beryllium. All right, how about we dust? All right. Beryllium dust. How are you supposed to be made? From beryllium ingots. Zirconium is also a zirconium ingot. Are these things that are from like an actual ore or what? How do I get you? Does it have to be that way? Rock Crusher. Diorite. Oh, okay. So I, it says I have a Rock Crusher already. I don't know why it thinks that. But... Rock Crusher. You know, I don't have it in there, that's for sure. Let's just go ahead and make one. Now, if you're wondering where I've gotten all these nuclear craft parts from, it's because they come in the loot bags. And so I've been getting tons of them from just my mob farm. So I'm very, very glad that that is going on now. All right, so we got that. Let's pop a bit of you down. Uh, you're just kind of chugging along. I don't know how much of that stuff I'm going to need, so I figure I might as well make a bunch of it. How do I diorite? Let's start with some stone. I think if I alchemy catalyst? I get andesite, which I can then turn into diorite? Yeah, diorite. All right. Let's allow that to process in the old rock crusher. All right, so what were the other things I needed? Roto zirconium. All right, all right. So let's do the at nuke dust again. And I think the zirconium was the one I was getting. Right. That's also going to give me a couple other types that I don't use. Beryllium comes from andesite. All right, so I'm willing to bet that regular stone is going to be the other one. Uh, crushed, crushed rhodocondra. All right, you just actually are a guy that exists, huh? Oh, you come from granite as well. All right, that'll work. You apparently must only be a percentage chance. All right, so I'm going to need. Some andesite and some granite as well. So let's do that. I hope that this just chains, because I don't think I've ever had to go further than the diorite before. Here we go. And diorite. Come on. All right, and there we go, granite, good. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and turn that into the andesite we need. Alright, there we go. Now I've got all the things I need for that. That's just going to take some time to process. Speaking of things processing, let's check on some of these guys. Uh, I did not have anything running here. That's bothersome. Um, oh, right. I also needed more of other things. Were you? Did I grab all of those already? Okay, I guess so. Um, let's grab some of you, some of you, and probably a few more of the... Oop, I missed the edge. Come on, eight. There we go. Some of you. Oh, I do have the uh, chrome chicken in there, by the way, providing me with chrome. I did, in fact, get that bread up in between episodes. All right, so I think what I'm going to do here, I'll throw these guys in here, let them process. 
Um, throw you in there, let you process, and then I'll throw those in afterwards. All right, so that's a good beginning into nuclear craft and into the nuclear portion of Tech Reborn. Uh, obviously, I'm not into the Extreme Reactors version of nuclear stuff yet, but we are slowly getting there. Hey, there's our zirconium dust. We can pull you out, throw in the granite. Um, so what I'm going to do is, in between episodes, I'm probably going to finish up this uh, <clears throat> this quest here, because I'll you know, polish off the, the granite and the andesite. Maybe I'll finish up these guys in total. I am curious about an upgrade. Is there an upgrade? Oh, look at you. Speed upgrades. Let's do that. Maybe I'll take in a couple extra minutes in this episode here and do that. All right. Uh, at nuke up. We did pressure plates. Let's grab a stack. Bam, look at that. A stack of speed upgrades. Hey, the advancement overclocking. All right. Can you... How much can you handle? Well, you can definitely handle that. Not quite that much, though. Let's try that. Okay, there we go. Well, we got the crushed rhododendrite we needed. Uh, let's get the andesite. Finish this uh, one up, actually, this episode. Beryllium. Excellent. That should be enough, right? Hey, ding. All right. That was smashing stones. What did, did we need? Burning with radiation and cool. Well, cool is not ready yet. Burning with radiation. Nuclear furnace. Let's go ahead and make that, and then we'll wrap up the episode. We'll be well on our way into nuclear craft. Um, nuclear... Nope. Nuclear furnace. Bam. I don't have the furnace part. Nuclear furnace. Done. Yay! Made the advancement kitchen nightmare. Alright. So all it needs now is cool, which you've... Oh, you know what? We'll probably just run through and do most of these. Hey, you know what? How about at nuke? And... There's gonna be a bunch of these guys that we need. Hmm. You do that. Okay, we're not quite there yet. What I'll do is I'll go ahead, get some more resources and such in between episodes, um, and hopefully be ready to move on with our nuclear power next time. But that is going to do it for this episode. So, until next time, have a good one. <laughs>